Hello. Welcome to the plate shop. My name is Mr. Pompani, as they call me, and I will be selling you some plates today. So, I have a selection of 14 here that you can choose from with great deals, and they really do look the best, and they come in all different shapes and sizes. So you can customize for any occasion, like lunch, dinner, parties, etc. So, um, I'll just get started right away and jump in with no particular order, so. This is the first plate. It's a turtle, a sea turtle to be precise. So it's a dishwasher safe as long as you keep it in the very top rack, okay? can hand wash it as well, but do not use it in the microwave, so. This is mostly just like a party platter kind of plate, if you have like a sea theme going on. Um, you can put things like pretzels, chips in it, you know, candy. It's made entirely of durable plastic, so if you drop it, <laughs> I'm not gonna drop it now, but. And it has the leaves all around the plate, bordering it. Yeah, that almost looks like an apricot, right? But it's a, a cut open cherry. Mm -hmm. I guess why they named it Orchard Fruits, but. Uh, yeah, you want to be careful the paint will scratch with use and time. Like if you start digging your fork in. in mind, but yeah, it's glass, oh, so, um, it's actually a mix of uh, porcelain and glass, so yeah, it will shatter if you mistakenly drop it, so you don't want to do that, okay, uh, but again, all of these plates that I will show you and that I have shown you already do come in small, medium, and large sizes, um, okay, so, um, they also come in custom different colors if you prefer. So let's say the sea turtle, if you wanted a purple version, we can go ahead and do that for you um, and fulfill your order within five business days of purchase. Okay, so uh, here's the next one. And this one is more of a decor piece. You, I guess you could put food in it, but it's more for decor. So you can put things like stones and pebbles in it. Glass marbles, you know, it has a quite an unusual tiny uh, bottom surface and it's not flat at all. Like it, you just get a little bit of this round space that's actually curved in to support and the rest 
arches out, so it, it, it's very unstable, like if you do this, it'll tickle or something. It's not meant to support food because of that reason. Um, and personally, um, I, I would not dishwash this. I'm not saying that it will peel off because this is all metal. This is metal, so it's impossible. break easily just trying to fit it in there because this would bump up against it. It, it, I mean, do you know how many times we get this? That it looks like one of these. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's hilarious. Uh, but it's by Argento, okay? And it does have a sort of Incredibly fragile, but um, you can put a little 
cakes on this, like a baklava, um, soft wafers, and finger foods, really, um, that would look good against the packing of this. You wouldn't just put french fries on this, does that make sense? More sweets. Okay, this next one is an appetizer. salsa in there, but I wouldn't do that. I would more do that with another plate, like I said, because this is more of an appetizer. So as you can see, the divisions, there's one division here, one division here, one division here, one division here. Okay. So four divisions in the center. And you can see the edges. Three dimensions of the plate, not only in the front, but in the back. adorned glass here and here, sticking out and uh, a different hue as it's cut into the glass while it was um, being heat blown to produce such a aristocratic, beautiful, uh, leafy plate. Okay, uh, this one is actually a flea market purchase. It was a mystery to us because we never received the name of it, um, but you can tell it is heat blown by the bubble that is trapped in there, and um, there is a minor mistaken uh, burn on the side here, so, um, but it is very, very pretty, um, and people will question what this is. You can put some
this honestly is quite nice that it's more of those pieces that you put in an armoire and you just leave it there and never use it. Because with time and wash, this will begin to peel and fade. A similarly resemblant piece, except all golden and yellow, by Formalities by Bomb Pros, fine bohemian porcelain. Uh, and this is called the Samantha. would go great with that sea turtle platter. Um, a sea turtle plate by Do 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 Fifth Under the Sea, it's called. It's porcelain fine. Dishwash my grift save. I made it in Indonesia. Okay. And uh, some of this, no, actually, yeah, all of it is uh, uh, three dimensionally ingrained into the plate. It's not painted. There's a map of uh, Lake Erie, Lake Huron, uh, the Great Lakes in the back. So definitely a uh, northeastern um, inspiration. In the viewpoint of someone not from here. another everyday plate. Another one is this squared off plate with its own uh, bumpy divisions. All throughout you have the studded borders twice around, going around the curves and arches and the edge. And here as well. shiny as you see um, and the perfect weight for most occasions I would say but the colors complement so well together brown and blue <clears throat> one of my favorites and then we have this spring butterfly Also by the one that made the uh, Turtle Northeastern Plate, a 225th PTS International. This is called Floral Toil. Fine China Porcelain, fine dishwasher migrate, safe. Made in Indonesia, so. Um, another one of those 3D ingrained in the plate. You can see the butterflies, the flowers, the dragonfly. Right there. 
because if it's old. Hmm? And you also have the border here going around to give it some separation in here as well to complement the plate as a whole. Yeah. Again, that's an everyday plate. Well, one of the nicer ones. <laughs> This time, this doesn't have the um, white paint looking glass. It's not actually um, as carved in as the last one, and they're more shallow uh, than the last platter I showed as well. But um, it is a crystalline sort of a part of my collection. I think these are similar to that, perhaps from the same company, but again, we will never know because the name is not on there. Platter for you if you would prefer not to have the divisions. And the last plate is a definite Christmas <laughs> decor collection by Royal Stafford. My grief and dishwasher safe. The rest is blurred out because I got this the heater that I wash must have scrubbed it away, unfortunately. But yeah, it's a uh, cabin in the woods during a snowy winter season. Greenery and red all throughout. Thank you for stopping by and uh, you feel free to make yourself